we're going to do a book study of the epistle of James. So let's go into James chapter 1 and let's see how far we get this morning. Uh, Please follow with me, James chapter 1. We'll start with verse 1. He introduces introduces himself, James, a bond servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. Greetings. And he has chosen for the rest of his life to live in submission to his master. That's a bond servant. He says, I'm a bond servant to God who is my father and to the Lord Jesus Christ. Then we're going to read verses 2 to 4. So the first thing he starts addressing is trials. Oh, all of them are going through it. They've been displaced, dispersed, having to find means to make a living, all of that. So he says, brethren, count it all joy. Hear that word trials is used like that. One, it could mean hardships or it could also mean temptations depending on the context. Here, so in verse 2, he's talking about hardships, difficulties, challenges that you're facing in life. What does he tell them to do? He says, count it all joy when you fall into it. But why? And how? Next verse, verse 3. Because of what you know. What do you know? Knowing this. That the trying of your faith produces patience. And so he says in verse 4, but let patience have its perfect work that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. In other words, stay the course. Let patience run its full course so that you can come out perfect and complete, lacking nothing. The very next thing that he goes into talking about, let's move forward to the next few verses, verses 5 through 8, is talking about wisdom. So he says, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God who gives. And how does God give? Continues, he gives to all. And he gives to all liberally. And without reproach, that means means without scolding. Some of us give what we scold. (laughs) <laughs> you came back again? Fifth time? God is not like that. God gives. He gives to all. He gives liberally. And He gives without scolding. That's our God. But, He says, let's ask in faith. Don't doubt. Another common theme in the epistle of James is the rich and the poor. So, the first word of encouragement or instruction he gives is if God lifts up somebody who has been poor lifts him up he says let him thank God let him glory or let him be happy in the fact that God has raised him up but to the rich he says you you be careful to be humble the next thing he moves on to in verse 12 is to talk about the whole issue of temptation. So he says, blessed is everyone who endures temptation. Same idea. Previously, he was talking about trials. Now he's talking about temptation. Temptation is inducement to sin, to do something wrong. Trials is just hardships, tough situations. And he says, if you endure, you've got to endure trials, you also have to endure temptations. That means you stay the course through it. Not yielding to it, of course, but overcoming it. But now, James is explaining to us the truth concerning temptation. He says, let no man say, when I'm tempted, I'm being tempted by God. Because God does not tempt us with evil, neither is He tempted by anyone. Verse 14, each man is tempted when he's drawn by his own desires. But this is who God is, verse 17. Every good and every perfect gift comes down from above. Is it good? Does it have virtue? Does it have honor in it? Is it perfect? Is it wholesome? Every good and perfect gift comes from above. If it's not good, if it's not wholesome, say no. 
it's not from God. Everything that is of light is from Him. He's a father of lights. And in Him there is no variation, no shadow, no darkness, not even a shadow. That's who God is.